Ask a historian what the worst year to be alive was. They won't say 1918. They won't say 1347. They will say 536 AD. In that year, a mysterious fog rolled across the world and blocked out the sun for 18 months. It was the year the light died. The Roman historian Procopius wrote, The sun gave forth its light without brightness, like the moon. Shadows disappeared. The sun turned a sickly blue color, and even at noon, you could barely see your hand in front of your face. For a year and a half, there was no dawn. Without the sun, the temperature crashed. It snowed in China during the summer. In Mesopotamia, crops froze in the fields, the seasons broke. It became a literal volcanic winter, turning the earth into a refrigerator. No sun meant no photosynthesis. Wheat died, grapes shriveled, bread vanished. In Ireland, the chronicles call it the failure of bread. Millions starved to death simply because the sky had betrayed them. It got worse. The starving population had weak immune systems. In 541, the bubonic plague arrived. It killed half the population of the Roman Empire. Bodies were stacked in towers because they ran out of graves. It was the apocalypse in slow motion. For centuries, no one knew why it happened. But recently, scientists analyzed ice cores from Greenland. They found the smoking gun, a massive volcanic eruption, likely in Iceland or North America, threw millions of tons of ash into the atmosphere, blanketing the globe. This event changed history. It weakened the Roman Empire enough to cause its collapse. It triggered migrations, wars, and chaos. Historians mark this moment as the true beginning of the Dark Ages. A politician named Cassiodorus wrote a letter during the darkness. He said, We marvel to see no shadows of our bodies at noon. It is a chilling reminder that our civilization is only one volcano away from turning off the lights. The sun always comes back, but not for everyone. If you want to survive the dark ages of history, subscribe. We are lighting the torches.